What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to hang string lights just like this here. I hope you can hear me over this pouring rain. This is going to be an awesome video. I'll have all the products linked down in the description below. You do not want to miss this. Let's get into it. The first and probably most difficult step is to unravel the string lights here. They really should package these a little differently. Both strands took about 10 minutes to fully straighten out. We then pulled these tight and let them sit in the sun for a bit to expand the line as much as possible. We don't want these lights to sag later. The first thing we need to do is figure out which tree to actually span the lights out to. So that'll require us unraveling these lights, spreading them across. The further the better, but obviously you can't go too far if you don't have enough rope. I'm also going to tie them to the top of this railing on this deck, which you'll see later. So I'm going to go from this corner out to a tree, back over to this corner, so like a little triangle. After laying these out, it was clear we were going to be a few feet short, so we are going to zigzag them through the trees instead. If you're wondering how I'm plugging these in, I'm screwing in a light socket outlet adapter. This way my lights will turn on when I flick a switch and I won't have to physically plug them in every time I want to use them. I'm starting with the plug inside of my lights and will screw in a hook to the top of my deck. This is where my first metal bracket and wire will hook onto. Since this is on the end of a board, I'm going to pre-drill before screwing the hook in just to prevent any splitting of the wood. This is the wire clamp. Loosen both of the nuts, insert the wire all the way through one side, loop it through the circle side of the wire tension hook, and then bring it back into the wire clamp and tighten up the nuts. I'll go through this once more at the end in clear detail. With the hook side of the wire tension hardware, we will hook it onto the screw hook we installed on the deck, then let our wire dangle and we'll start tying on the string lights with some zip ties. Now you might be thinking you run the wire through the little holes that are already provided on the string lights, but then the lights will look wavy because the holes are lined up with your wire and you need them to be perpendicular to the wire. So just use zip ties here so you keep everything nice, straight, and simple. The zip ties, wire tension hook, wire clamps, and pretty much everything else you need is included in the kit I purchased, which is linked down in the description below. Make sure you cut off the excess of the zip ties to have a clean look. We continued all the way down until we got to our next connection point, and I'm only really installing this hook here on this tree to keep the wire from sliding down the tree. A simple nail would suffice as well. A storm rolled in really quick, so I'll show you the last steps inside my garage, which is probably actually better because you can get a clear image than if I were to hold the camera way up in the trees or on the deck. At the very end of the string lights, make sure you pull all of the sag out of the strand. This will make these visually appealing and strong for years to come. At the beginning and end of your line, you want to expand the tension hook as much as possible, and this means twisting it until most of the threaded part is outside of this box. Then once you connect this to your beginning and end hooks, like this cardboard box here for example, you can twist the tension hook to tighten your wire. This is a more straightforward example. Fully extended is 6 inches, and twisted down pulls the wire in 2 inches. This is on both sides, so 4 inches less of tension. The dark weather made for some really awesome shots of these lights though. Having daytime video of string lights just wouldn't do this project any justice. If you're questioning how these came out, my neighbor texted me a month after installing these with his review of them. And you can see here I'm a terrible friend, but to my defense, I was sick my birthday July 10th, sick here August 8th, currently sick as I make this video in September, I blame my two toddlers, and while I'm going through personal text, here's how much the string light property makes in not peak season Airbnb, here's me flirting with my wife, and here's, <laughs> never mind, let's get back on track. Here is the detailed instruction. As promised, loosen the nuts on the wire clamp with the provided tool, slide the wire through one side of the clamp, loop it through the tension hook, and then back into the wire clamp on the other side. Then tighten the nuts. It's pretty straightforward really. Just remember to completely unscrew the tension bolt so it's fully expanded. It 
It started pouring down rain over here, so we quickly hurried up through the rest of this project, but it literally took maybe an hour to do with a buddy here. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend this project. They also make some really cool color changing Wi-Fi enabled recess lights that you can control from your phone as well. You can install them the same way and these shots come from a video I launched a few weeks ago. You can find it on my channel. Just remember to subscribe. By the way, if you're interested in any of these products, the lights, the wire, all the hanging kit, merchandise, whatever materials, I'll have it all linked down in the description below. Um, there's plenty of, of extras as well. So they give you a lot more than what I needed for a hundred feet. Um, yeah, so check that out down there. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I will see you all on the next video.